day two. Um, we are off on a train from what's the name of the station? Tel Aviv station uh, to Accra. Uh, hour and a half. Looking forward to that. Uh, but at the moment, as you can see, we are about to engage in a shack shooter, which is nice. A shack I don't know how to say it. Um, from Dr. Shakshuka. So our description is Shakshuka. Step in time. Oh, it's far too hot for me to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> Saladin conquered Jerusalem yeah. in the end of the 12th century after the Battle of Hattin, which destroyed the army of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem was quite inland, so there was no way of holding the city, so that fell. Uh, Richard the Lionheart, along with Philip of France and Frederick Barbarossa, the three foremost monarchs of Christian Europe, arrived in the Third Crusade, tried to... Well, there was no real hope of retaking Jerusalem. Saladin was too powerful. So they made the stand here at Acre, which was the main port city of the kingdom, and afterwards became the capital of the kingdom. So for another hundred years, the kingdom of Jerusalem survived without Jerusalem. And this place became very prosperous and powerful as a result. And merchants from all over the Mediterranean would come in, trade their wares with people coming along the Silk Road from the east, from India and China and Arabia, and it became very rich. And these, these walls are the result of that. So during the 13th century, uh, it was probably as powerful as England. Let's go see some Turkish baths. Oh, baby. That way. Here we go. So, uh, of course we are on a historical trip, so I've decided to maintain that even in my culinary choices. Uh, this is Roman artichokes. Uh, this is how the Romans used to eat their artichokes. As far as I can see, they used to eat them. They used to eat two artichokes. Here is what I'm eating. David made a mistake. We've been searching for a bit of baklava on the back streets of Eight Acre, and we found it. Here we go. Oh, look at that! He's making the baklava. So this is uh cubes. That might be where this goes. Smash the dream. Uh so smash it oh no. <laughs> Menu's back of this quite sticky. Yeah, I want one of these ones. That'll be good. Get one of them in. Which one? That, that one there is good. You want that one? Yeah. Yeah, two of them. Look 
Jasper trying out something new. He's got a carrot juice, he's got a Turkish coffee. That's all happening, that's all happening here. So and here we have me having exactly the same that I'd have at home. All right, back to David. Maggie Kelly, this is for you. You have a gather of that carrot juice. Here we go. What's occurring? I don't know what I expected it to taste of, but it does taste of liquid carrot, which is, um, which is obviously disgusting. <laughs> Oh, it's hot bread. Bread's hot. Bread. We're here at the Bruins Templar Complex in the city of Aiken. And we've got David from Voices of the Past here. He's going to give you a little... Uh, little insight into, little the, insight. into my methods, guys. Um, if ever there's, if ever on screen on Voices of the Past, you spot, and just for a little while, you've been just looking at some drifting smoke. Um, that's because one of the people in the videos has decided just to just to, to waffle, just to, to, to talk for an extended period. King said to his subjects, I'm the king, you're not the king, I'm the king. And because I'm the king, you can always trust me to be the king in any situation. Even when the king is needed, I'll be the king. Basically, if someone's just, because there'll always be a bit in a video where someone gets into something really specific, but I haven't got a, a, a bean plant in heck of finding on like video blocks or anything. They'll be like, oh, and that's when uh, my friend invaded the southern rootlands of Wittenberg. And I'll be like, ah, that is where that is. Um, that would be the point where I'll bust out on map. very very easy to get around uh, the, the people uh, very wildly from being very nice to being almost cartoonishly rude and um, I think it's a real really fantastic holiday destination food's great um, everywhere's beautiful and it's not crowded or full of tourists at all I need to I, well, this is it. I'm, I'm excited. My next video is about the Pannonian bacon, a uh, very famous area uh, in the world uh, where there's a lot of salty meats. A lot of salty meats. Good. Let's get some floor.